What's going on guys, this is Anders, today I'm going to show you how to upgrade my live stream console gaming PC from using an air cooling to liquid cooling. So without further ado, let's get started. So the reason why I decided to upgrade my PC is because of course liquid cooling is better than air cooling and I expect to have better performance in terms that I want to play PC games on this system and live stream at the same time. Right now I can do PC games but I cannot live stream at the same time because the specs is only for live stream console games. Regardless of that, I'm using the Project 7 L240 liquid cooling from Aerocool which means that you can control the RGB through the RGB connector by using your motherboard or the PH1 hub from Aerocool. So after a perfect unboxing, the first step we will do is separate the components that we are going to use. And from the P7L240 liquid cooling, we are going to take its user manual, the motherboard backplate, the thermal paste, and depending on which CPU you use, we will choose the screws and the brackets. So the first thing that we are going to do is remove the air cooler and clean all the thermal paste from the CPU. Now it's time to place the radiator and I am a person that I love to have RGB everywhere so I add double side fans by using the two extra fans that I used before for the air cooler. Regardless add a double fan size is up to you, this is just a personal taste. Then we are going to paste the square sticker on the back plate and place it on the motherboard back. Once you're done with the radiator you just need to add new thermal paste to the CPU and place the liquid cooler pump. And now is my favorite part of everything, the cable management. And this was a mess since I have a lot of fans connected and I have three sections for the RGB. But in the end, the only advice that I can give you is that keep in mind the distance between the fans. Because remember, you need to connect everything with each other and sometimes the distance of the cable won't be enough. That's why I partition everything in three parts, two controlled by motherboard and one with the hub. But this, like I say, is up to you depending on your build, of course. Overall, I'm really satisfied not just for how badass now looks my Blue Eyes PC. I love how easy it is to set up all the Project 7 RGB products even when they are controlled by different controllers and sections. The liquid cooler definitely gives a clean and powerful looking and that RGB on the water block is like the cherry cake. And that's all for this video my friends, let me know in the comment section below if you like my blue eyes, live streaming console, PC gaming, blah blah blah. If you want to see how I build this PC, I have a very interesting video, the one you can preview by clicking here. If you want to support the channel, don't forget to give that thumbs up, share the video and subscribe. That way you won't miss any of my future videos and content. Your good friend FuryPixel, see you next time.